welcome students now we are going to start a new chapter surface chemistry and in the first in this chapter the first topic which i am going to explain you is the introduction to adsorption and in this video we will uh, try to find out the answer of three basic questions the first one is what is adsorption second one is how does it differ from absorption and the final one is what are the types of adsorption so let's try to find out answer of the first question that is what is adsorption so according to the definition of adsorption adsorption is the phenomena of attracting and retaining the molecules of substance of any substance on the surface of a liquid or solid resulting into higher concentration of molecules on the surface let's try to understand this uh, let's say i have a substance i have a and another substance b okay if the molecules of b are at are attracted by a and they get attracted or they are just adsorbed on the surface of a this process will be known as adsorption the molecules of a is attracting the molecules of b on its surface so this is the phenomena of attracting and retaining the molecules of substance on the surface molecules of b are attracted towards toward the surface of a and they are retained there so this process is adsorption on which the molecules of b are being attracted and retained on the surface of a this means the molecules of b are being adsorbed on the surface of a so this process is adsorption and this leads to increase in concentration on the surface the molecules are present only on the surface and not in, in the bulk this process is adsorption now the substance which is adsorbed are called adsorbent while the substance on which the adsorption takes place is known as adsorbent so at so in this example which we have taken here b is being adsorbed on the surface of a so b is adsorbent while a is adsorbent because the substance which is adsorbed on the surface is adsorbent while substance on which the adsorption takes place is adsorbent so in this example a is adsorbent b is adsorbent here is another you can just uh, see you can see another image here so the molecules which are present on the surface are adsorbent here let's say we can say that yellow one are the molecules of b so the so the, those molecules which are attracted on the surface are adsorbent and the surface and the surface on which the adsorption takes place is of adsorbent while this surface this this is known as interface the surface where the process takes place is called interface next is how does adsorption differ from absorption okay so just here is a graph here is a image where you can see this process is adsorption this one is ab this is absorption this one is adsorption so what are the differences between these two processes how does adsorption differ from absorption let's again try to understand this with the same example which i have taken this earlier a this is the this is the substance a and this is the substance b now there are two chances the first one is the molecules of b are just present on the surface and not in the bulk this will be known as adsorption while if uh, the molecules of b are present not only on the surface but also or most or, or mainly in the bulk inside then this will be known as absorption 
In first case, the molecules are being attracted only on the surface. In another one, these molecules penetrate the membrane of the surface and they just enter into bulk. In that case, this is absorption and in this is absor absorption and in earlier case it was adsorption. If the molecules are being attracted on the surface only, this is adsorption. If the molecules are absorbed in the bulk, they are present in the bulk, this will be known as absorption. As you can see from here also, the molecules are present in the bulk, this is absorption and when the molecules are present only on the surface, it is absorption. So ad we can say that adsorption is a surface phenomena. It takes place only on the surface, while absorption is related with the bulk or absorption concerns with the whole mass of the adsorbent. So it is not a surface phenomena. Okay, what happens in adsorption that the substance is only retained on the surface and does not go into the bulk or interior of the solid or liquid. Just you can see from here that the molecules are present only on the surface and not in the bulk. While in absorption, the substance are uniformly distributed throughout the bulk. And this is the difference, another difference. The next difference is in adsorption, the concentration of adsorbate molecules is always greater in the immediate vicinity of the surface than in the free phase. That means concentration is greater on the surface while in absorption the concentration is the molecules diffuse into the bulk and the concentration is greater in the bulk as compared to surface and the finally adsorption is a fast process adsorption is a rapid process which takes place very soon with a greater rate and the equilibrium is attained in short time in absorption, the equilibrium takes place slowly. Now, what is equilibrium? The process of adsorption of the molecule on the surface is again also adsorption, while there is a reverse process in which the molecules get split or they just detach from the surface to again generate the free substances. And this is known as desorption desorption is the inverse of absorption or of adsorption so adsorption is a rapid process and the equilibrium between these two processes absorption and adsorption and desorptions take place quicker with greater speed while in this case the the rate is slow and adsorption or the equilibrium attains slowly the next is what are the types of adsorption the final question was what are the types of adsorption adsorption is basically of the two type chemical chemical adsorption and physical adsorption so let's see what are the differences between these two what is the difference between chemical and physical adsorption okay the first difference is in physical adsorption only weak van der Waal forces are present between the adsorbent and adsorbate. When a molecule is attracted on the surface of another molecule, there will be only weak van der Waal attraction and not and there will not be any chemical bond between the adsorbate and adsorbent molecule, only weak van der Waal forces. While in case of chemical adsorption, these two, that is adsorbent molecules and adsorbate molecules will form chemical bond between these two. So chemical bonds are formed between adsorbate and adsorbent molecules. So this is the first difference in physical adsorption, only Van der Waal forces are present while in chem chem chemical adsorption, the formation of chemical bonds takes place. Okay. The physical adsorption depends on the nature of gases, we can say the nature of adsorbent and easily liquefiable gases are adsorbed easily while the chemical adsorption is much more specific as compared to physical adsorption and it highly depends on the nature of both adsorbent and adsorbent, it depends on the nature of both. The next thing is heat of adsorption, now what is heat of adsorption? The adsorption is actually an exothermic process. 
whenever a molecule is absorbed on the surface of another substance heat is released so absorption adsorption is always an exothermic process and the amount of heat released is known as heat of adsorption or enthalpy of adsorption in case of physical adsorption this heat of adsorption is very small and it is about 5 kilo calorie per mole while in case of chemical adsorption this is very high the heat of adsorption is high it is 80 to 400 kilo calorie per mole again physical adsorption is reversible in nature both they there are two opposing force, uh, processes adsorption and desorption desorption and that means this is reversible in nature while the chemical adsorption is irreversible in nature once the bonds are formed between adsorbent and adsorbent molecule they cannot be broken down again and if they are broken down uh, the properties will get changed so chemical adsorption is reverse irreversible in nature because of formation of chemical bonds between the adsorbent and adsorbent molecules the next thing is physical adsorption is you is multi molecular in nature multi molecular in nature means when uh mol okay molecules are adsorbed on the surface okay this is the first layer and after that that the adsorption continues and the number of layers are formed on the surface surface one after another so we can say these are multi layer one after another number of layers are formed but in case of chemical adsorption this is unimolecular why because in chemical adsorption we know that adsorption takes place because of the formation of bond between adsorbent and adsorbent molecules and so once the bond is formed the valency is satisfied the molecules of adsorbent are no longer available for the formation of more bonds so they can form bond with only one layer that means the layer is the form the layer which is formed in chemical adsorption is unimolecular because of satisfaction of the valencies of the adsorbent molecules next thing is physical adsorption occurs at low temperature it takes place at low temperature and again it decreases with increasing temperature why it is very expected because i have told you that the adsorption is exothermic in nature so obviously when we will increase the temperature the process the rate of process will decrease while the chemical adsorption takes place at high temperature initially it increases with increase in temperature and after that it starts decreasing why because this is a chemical process and for starting any chemical reaction we need a minimum amount of energy which is known as yes activation energy activation energy is always required in order to initiate any chemical reaction and that's why chemical adsorption first increase with increase in temperature because of this that its requirement of activation energy and once the activation energy is supplied to the uh, reactant and the adsorption starts it starts decreasing with increase in temperature just because of exothermic nature so initially it will start and then it will start decreasing it first it will increase with increase in temperature and after that it will start decreasing in case of chemical adsorption okay the next thing is equilibrium is attained radially as i have just discussed in my previous slide that in case that physical adsorption is takes place with greater speed and the equilibrium is attained equilibrium between adsorption and desorption attained quickly because it is a fast process while in case of equilibrium in case of chemical equilibrium chemical adsorption the equilibrium is attained slowly and most of the time there is no equilibrium established between chemical adsorption and desorption because most of the time chemical adsorption is reversible in nature so this was the difference between adsorption chemical adsorption and physical adsorption i hope all these things are clear to you and these are important this is an important topic 
uh, all the concepts of chemical adsorption and physical adsorption must be clear to you. In our next video, we will discuss about some more topics of surface chemistry. Let me finish with this. Thank you.